So where does the chi-square test belong? I know it's been a while since we've looked at this, um, if you're going in order with the videos, but I think it's pretty good to stop right now and sort of think, okay, where have we come from? Where, where are we now? So the first thing we um, sort of want to think about are the different uh, independent variables that we've been able to look at. We've been able to look at independent variables, the predictor variables, right, that are either uh, categorical or continuous. Um, when an IV is categorical, you have groups, right, um, or different samples, right? Um, when an IV is continuous, uh, you don't have different groups. You have uh, different, um, different levels that predict something, right? Okay, so just to give you an uh, idea of a categorical IV, that would be something like experimental group versus the control group, or um, something like um, this... Uh, a categorical IV might be someone who gets um, a drug versus someone who gets the placebo, right? A group that gets the drug versus a group that gets the placebo. An example of a continuous IV might be um, looking at how much you study predicting your score on a test, right? So how much you study would be a continuous IV. All right. So that's one of the dimensions that we need to know. Is your IV categorical or continuous? You also need to know whether the DV is categorical or continuous. So the DV is the thing that we're interested in measuring at the end of the day. The thing that we want to know, does this thing change? Um, this is the thing we want to predict, right? And so far, um, here's how we've come. Uh, at the very beginning, we looked at continuous, continuous uh, types of tests and those uh, types of measures. And those were the regression, linear regression, as well as correlation, if you remember R, right? And regression was that stuff about like uh, Y equals B sub not uh, b not plus b sub one times x right so that was regression and correlation way back um, way back in the day uh, we also covered um, we've been covering a lot of this quadrant actually um, looking at t tests and ANOVAs right. One important thing to note that t-tests and ANOVAs are both hypothesis tests, but we so far haven't learned hypothesis testing with regression and correlation. Um, a lot of uh, inferential statistics in college doesn't cover um, uh, hypothesis testing of regression until you get to more, uh, more advanced levels of statistics. All right, so what do ANOVAs and t-tests um, sort of have in common? Well, they have in common that they're both uh, categorical IVs and continuous DVs. So the IV is categorical, and you only have one, one IV. And your DV, oops, DV is continuous. So that's sort of what they have in common. What's different about them? Well, the difference is that the IV in uh, t-test has two levels and only two levels. So there's only two groups or two samples. In ANOVAs, we could test for more than two samples. We could test for three, four, five samples, right? So the IV has greater than two levels. And so that's where we've been spending a lot of our time. So for the most part, uh, continuous DVs are really important because they tell us a lot. Um, they tell us the fine ways that uh, we could actually be different, right? Um, th that the data could actually be different. Um, so you're going to, it's, it's more rare that you'll use a categorical dependent variable. That's not going to be as informative to us. But it is still possible, and that's where the chi-square is going to come in. The chi-square is going to come in right in this quadrant, where we have categorical IVs, but also a categorical DV. So for instance, we might want to see something like, um, 
if you're given a particular drug or the placebo, um, do you feel like you're getting better? Yes or no, right? So that's a categorical DV. It's not continuous. It's not like a score that we could find a mean of, right? And so um, this is where the chi-square tests come in. And there's going to be two chi-square tests that we're going to look at. Uh, the first one we're going to cover today, and it's called goodness of fit. The next one is in the next lesson, and it's called a test of homogeneity. But they're both chi-square tests. Um, the other way you'll see this written is chi-squared. So sometimes students think, oh, what's this x squared doing here? Um, when it has this little curvy part here, uh, we mean chi-squared, the Greek letter chi. All right. Finally, this is a test that uh, rarely is covered in inferential statistics, um, but at more advanced levels of statistics, you do cover it. And this is called the logistic test. And the logistic test takes you from continuous IVs to categorical DVs. But that's a rare design used in, um, in in conducting science. Um, it's, it's not as informative as continuous to continuous or categorical to continuous. All right, so we're going to spend our time right in here.